Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to more Yandere Simulator Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions or tell me myths about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have some good ones for today, so enough talking, and let's just dive right in. Jay, do you think Yandere Chan has cute cakes? Eh. I give that a flat out of 10. This next one is a very popular question that a lot of you guys have been asking me since the new update. It is, can you fight martial art titans? Now I've always wanted to do that, so what we're gonna do, we have to do it really fast. We're gonna knife somebody. We're gonna go end their laifu right now. End his laifu, and then end his laifu. And then get this guy because he has blue hair and we don't like it. And this guy because he's texting and walking like a little bitch. And this guy because he has purple hair. Who the fuck does that? And then Pippi because fuck it, why not, right? Come on, die, Pippi. Uh. And then Ryoto because he's a fuck boy. Where's the martial artist at? Where the hell are they? Uh. Oh my god, Senpai, no. I was just trying to get the martial artist to fight me. Oh my god, she is covered in so much blood. Okay, we are gonna get the martial artist to notice us. Sorry, I got on a very knife happy spree. I just wanted to knife everybody. Let's do that again. This time we're gonna get the katana, cause why not? And then fast forward time a little bit. What are you what the what are you looking at, girl? Surprise, motherfucker. Oh shit, she's the martial artist! Oh god, I did not know! She doesn't have the thing on her head. The bandana. What the heck? Who's gonna fight me? Who's gonna fight me? Come on. Somebody fight me. Martial artist, notice me, you fuckers! What about you? What's up? What about you? Kaka! What about you? Sasa! Come on, Kudere! More like dead bitch! Oh, there he is! Oh god, the martial artist! Go, let's go! Oh my god, Titan mode! Yeah, fight me! Fight me, you fucking Titan! Oh my god! <laughs> you guys ready to fight some Titan martial artist? Because I sure am. Let's get this started, man. This is gonna be crazy. This is gonna be fun. Okay, there we go. Let's cut this bitch up. Come on, teleport. Okay, Titan mode. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, look at all these people. That's crazy. Come on, fight me. Fight me. Let's go. Who wants some of this? Fight me, boy. Fight me. I dare you. Yeah, let's go. Hey. Fuck hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. Look at him. Yeah, fly away, bitch! Oh my god, another martial artist! Whoa! This Come on, we got this, we got this! Would yeah, this. die! I'll call the police immediately. <laughs> so you can't fight a titan, and you could whoop the monkey ass! Look at him fly away! Hold on, let's see if we can see him rolling out of here. Yeah, bye! Have a great time! See you later! Oh my god, why are you smiling, fuck boy? Why are you smiling, fuck boy? Look at this guy, so calm! Not anymore! So yeah, that proves it. You can fight a titan martial artist. On to the next one. What happens if you kill everyone before the police arrive? Well, only one way to kill, and you cannot kill the nurse and the girl by the tree. So we're gonna kill everyone, but we're gonna get Senpai first because he never shows us any love. Come on, don't love this guy. Don't love this guy! Oh, two scared little bitches in here? Let's go. Yes, it can be. And it will be! No, it can't be. Last teacher to kill, coming right up. All right, that's everybody. Now it's just time for the last people on the roof. Here we go. One more girl right over here. Everyone destroyed by the ice fairy. Everyone on the first floor, people in here. Okay, now we have two minutes to go, so let's just fast forward time and then see what happens. The police arrived at school and informed the faculty that a crime may have taken place on school grounds. The police stated that they had no reason to believe that the perpetrator was one of the students at school. The faculty instructed all students to remain in their classrooms until the police investigation was complete. The police quickly discovered multiple corpses on school grounds. <laughs> multiple, that's an understatement. But were unable to locate the murder weapon. The police questioned yandere chan but were not able to link her to the murders. Huh, that's funny. The only girl that's alive, floating like a damn ice fairy, is not being able to be linked to the crime, and everyone died from ice. But yeah, 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 police are smarter than everybody, so, you know, you can't link her to the murders. Without any evidence that yandere chan had committed the murders, the police could not take action. After the police investigation ended, all the students were sent home for the day. Oh, you mean me and Osana, the girl by the tree, and the nurse, possibly? So let's see what the school looks like after everyone has been dead. Wow, it is very gloomy. Nobody's coming to school. Wait, 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 who is that? What the? Everybody's coming to school. No? Wait, why do those three girls only come to school? What significance do they have? 
I thought I killed them. That's weird. So Kakona, is that Saki? All these girls, why are they here? I thought I killed them all. That is weird. That is pretty cool, but it's weird. Oh, more people are coming. What? Okay. So you know how in the previous episode, you guys asked me to go into the cult room with 0% atmosphere? Now that Oak is here, we can do that again. We can go in slender mode and see if it works since it's 0% atmosphere. It's now after school. I'm gonna wait for Oka to come to the occult club. Where is she? There she is. Bam, 3.40 p.m. Just stand right in front of her. And then we are going to go into slendy, slendy mode. So let's go into slender. Bam. What the hell is wrong with you? Why are you acting so weird? Don't worry about me. Worry about yourself. I'm just tall and I'm pale. You got a problem with that? So all she does is notice me every 10 seconds saying, you're still walking around like that? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna slice her up with the screwdriver, and then I'm just gonna laugh. Yeah, just gonna laugh. Oh God, I hate it when it does that thing like that. Like that? I mean, it's just a glitch. It's not really the Easter egg, but it looks creepy. Okay, I am just gonna keep laughing and fast forward time. Whoa, whoa that was weird. One thing I will say after speeding up time, the floor is not like a creamy beige color, but I think that's just because at the end of the day, it's outside of school, the sun is down, like the sun's setting. So I think that's just what it is, but who knows for sure. It's almost the end of the day, so I'm gonna fast forward time and then let's see what happens. The school has ended. Teachers must walk through the school and tell any lingering students to leave. Yandere Chan did not clean up after herself after committing murder. While walking around the school, the teacher discovers a corpse. The teacher informs the rest of the faculty about her discovery. The faculty members agree to call the police and report the corpse. Okay, so the police quickly linked the murder weapon to Yandere Chan, arrested her, and she'll never be able to confess her love to Senpai. Wouldn't she have? Whoa, what the? Why does it look like that? That is weird. Can I press anything? No? I can't press on the blood? Weird. Is it true if you raise your English pretty high, you won't be so nervous around senpai? I've actually never heard that one before. I don't think it would work, but we are going to raise our English skill or language skill pretty high. I'll probably raise it to the max, and then we'll see if we're still nervous around senpai. I don't think it's gonna work, but you know, that's the beauty of this series. We just gotta try to find out. Okay, our language is almost full to the max. Just one more time, and then we are gonna go check on Senpai, our little lovey-dovey honey bunny. There we go. Let's go talk to our lovely Senpai. I believe he is in this class. Senpai? Senpai? No? The only guy in this is a martial arts and a blue-haired fuckwad? Guy, where are you, Senpai? Where is my lover? There, Senpai! God, look at your handsome face! No! Her panties What's are still soaked when she sees Senpai. Damn you! Why? Okay, She's leave me alone. She's acting strange. How is this acting strange? Your face is strange! So this myth is debunked. She is nervous around Senpai, and I think she will always be nervous around Senpai until Yandere Devs implements her not being nervous or a system where she can lessen that nervousness in the future. Next myth. I dare you to find the ghost from previous builds somewhere around the school. So, the ghost in the previous builds was on the third floor, and I do have some videos of it. <coughs> Yandere Ghost Adventures, <coughs> if you haven't seen it, go check it out. <coughs> but, uh, sorry guys, I had a harsh cough. If you guys have not seen the ghost from the third floor bathroom, I think it would still be the same, right? Because, oh my god, look how dark this bathroom is. I'm pretty sure she's in here. So let's take a picture right here. Say cheese, ghosty ghost! Yup, there she is. Let's try to get a closer pick. Oh god, that is still creepy as ever. Let's see. Bam! There she is. Who is that girl anyway? I have no idea. Let's see if we can see up her skirt. Let me see. I'm gonna see if I can see. Boom! Ooh, ooh, we can, we can! Okay, perv mode activated! Yeah! Let me get a little bit more under here. Oh yeah, underwear, under there. You know what I'm saying? Alright, that's pretty cool. So yeah, the ghost is still here. Maybe she has a twin sister. Let's see. Maybe somebody else is here in the bathroom. Let's just take pics and see if there's anybody in these bathrooms. So I'm gonna take pics here, and there, and no, no, maybe in the mirror? Okay, wait, wait, maybe I might see something in the mirror. Awesome, some crazy like Bloody Mary stuff, that'd be creepy. Come on, nope, nothing. Okay, let's open this one, and bam! Maybe there's a floating shit in the toilet? Nope, okay. 
So, the ghost is in this third floor bathroom. Maybe there's a guy ghost, you never know. Oh, wait, get out of here, it's confusing. Okay, you notice how dark that one is? See, at least this one's a little bit lighter. Maybe there's a guy ghost. Maybe he has his wiener hanging out. Nope. Anything in the stalls? Oh, those are fucking dirty. Look like someone took a shit in this urinal. What the heck? It's meant for peeing. Why are there shit stains in the urinal? And I know you guys might be saying that's rust. No, rust does not look like that doo-doo type of brown. That is ridiculous. That is not rust. That is ass. Okay, let's check these three bathrooms. Nope. And nope. Okay, so the ghost is in the third floor bathroom if you guys want to check her out. She's in this one. It's darker than all the other bathrooms. Wait, actually, let me see the other side. You never know, because maybe both sides are equally dark. So let's see here. Bathroom is right here. Okay, no, see? This one's a little bit lighter. So you can tell if you're in the bathroom with the ghost if you're in the bathroom that's a little bit darker. So yes, the ghost is still there. On to the next one. Last question for today's episode is... Can you give a mind slave a syringe as a weapon to kill? That is very creative and interesting, and I want to see that as well, because it would be hilarious if she like tranquilizes Kakona and she ends up falling asleep. That would be awesome. I doubt that would happen, but we're just gonna try it anyway. I am going to use Oka as my mind slave, because I like her out of all the characters that are in this game, and she just looks the most normal, and I feel for her. I mean, she seems like she's sad all the time, and I just wanna make her happy by tranquilizing her and kidnapping her. <laughs> That makes no sense at all, but who cares? We're not here to make sense, we're just here to have fun. So she's gonna follow us, and she's gonna see us actually grab the tranquilizer. So, let's just grab that. I'm sorry you did not see that. And let's bring her to the tranquilizing room. Okay. Alright. Come on, come on, girl. There you go. I'm gonna close the door. And wha-bam! Go to sleep. Awesome. Just as I planned. Okay, dump her in there. And then let's bring her home. I wonder if she has any dialogue. Do you, Oka? Do ya? No, she's taking it like a damn gangster. Sorry, Oka, I feel really bad about this. Not really, I'm just saying that. But, you know, I would feel bad the most for doing it to you because I love you, Oka. I love you so much, I'm sorry! Okay, here's Oka. So what we're gonna do? Whoa, she looks like a regular person. I'm useless. She looks like she's just standing like her regular self. Okay, but well, whatever. We gotta get that tranquilizer real quick. Hopefully, this all goes according to plan. I kind of have a feeling how this will all play out, but you never know. You never know. Okay, let's get that tranquilizer. Oh yeah. Let's get the let's get the fluid too, just in case. Just in case she actually puts Kakona to sleep. That would be amazing. Okay, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Come on, before Kakona. Come on, before Kakona. I'm give her, worthless. yes. Give it to her. Give her, the, give her. It. Yes, she got the tranquilizer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn, that's a bloody mess. It doesn't even matter. Wow, Oka said, I don't want to kill myself. I want to live, baby. She does have the tranquilizer, though, which is pretty awesome. Wait, what the, Dead. what? Lead me. To wow. They didn't even program her to kill herself! She just fell flat on her knees and died. That was anticlimactic, but, well, hey, hey, that wasn't me. Well, yeah, slide over there, slide into those DMs, girl. And spin around. Alright, so a Mind Slave can use a tranquilizer as a weapon. But that's gonna do it for today's episode. If you have this any more questions, tragedy. comments, or myths that you want this? featured in the next episode, make sure you write them in the comment section below. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!